Alabama's WVUA News at 5. Coming up in home team weather, watching the radar close this afternoon this evening. Some severe storms are possible tonight. We've got the full details. Coming up in home team weather, stay with us. It's been a long journey, but the smell of barbecue is back at a well-known intersection in Tuscaloosa. See how a local restaurant is making a comeback from the April 27th tornado. And sending that text while you're driving will soon be against the law here in Alabama, and it could cost you a pretty penny. Thanks for joining us tonight. I'm Lynn Brooks. And I'm Terry Brewer. A look at your weather is up first tonight. Part of our area saw some scattered showers earlier today. Could there be some more storms headed your way tonight? Let's get a first check of your Alabama's home team weather with Chief Meteorologist Richard Scott. Hi, Richard. Hey, Terry and Lynn, good Monday afternoon to you. Right now, things pretty quiet out there. 91 in the city of Tuscaloosa. It's certainly hot this evening, 101 in Montgomery. But things are going to change, I think, later tonight as an active band of thunderstorms will develop and move our way. Right now, things pretty quiet on the radar. But we had some shower storms this morning. We do have a slight risk of severe weather for the western half of the state, and that does include all of West Alabama counties. Now, East Alabama, the chance a little bit lower, but still some strong storms possible. We're looking upstream towards the northwest. Some th th storms will likely develop up here in the next hour or two and then drift our way later tonight. Best Chris, any severe storms could happen late tonight and early tomorrow, but on our quick cast, we're calling for that stray shower storm through 10 o'clock. As we approach midnight, the better chance for organized thunderstorms will arrive, plus the risk of damaging straight line winds. I've got the full details in your forecast, plus your seven day planner coming up. Stay with us. Well, the smell of smoky barbecue is filling the air again at the intersection of McFarland Boulevard and 15th Street in Tuscaloosa. Just in time for supper. Yeah, perfect timing. <laughs> Just moments ago, Full Moon Barbecue cut the ribbon on that brand new restaurant. Today, employees were busy putting all the finishing touches on everything, getting ready for the big opening. The original restaurant was demolished during the April 27th tornado, and since then, employees have worked out of a catering and takeout location on Veterans Memorial Parkway. Owner Brian Ahmed says Full Moon is happy to be able to open its doors once again. And the best part is that, you know, we have a place where we can sit down now and you can see your customers come in and your friends and, and just be able to spend time with people and talk with them and just, and just, uh, uh, it's, it's just a very, very thrilling time for us. So we're very excited. Ahmed told us Full Moon will be open for customers starting tomorrow. Tonight at 6, hear from employees who survived the storms back on April 27th inside the cooler of the former restaurant. On your money watch, it's almost time to get those school supplies. Starting this Friday, shoppers can get a break at the checkout during the state's back to school sales tax holiday. This weekend marks the seventh annual sales tax holiday in the state. Local stores are gearing up for a big weekend of shopping. State sales tax will be waived on certain school supplies, clothing, and computers. For more information about what's included in the sales tax holiday, you can call the Alabama Department of Revenue. Here's their number, 866-576-6531. You can also check out our website, wvuatv.com. From there, click Numbers and Links. Drivers, beware. You have less than 48 hours until the texting while driving ban is in full swing. This past April, Alabama lawmakers passed a bill making it illegal to text, email, or instant message while operating a motor vehicle. So, if you are caught texting behind the wheel, you may have to pay a fine. But according to the law, you are allowed to read, select, or enter a telephone number while driving. Tuscaloosa Police Sergeant Brent Blankley tells us distractions behind the wheel can be deadly. Before cell phones, and most of us when we started driving, our parents would be like, you know, don't play on the radio and do this. Well, now they're texting, talking, playing on the radio and everything else. We hope that this brings to light the amount of uh, responsibility it takes to drive a vehicle because in a split second you can kill yourself or kill somebody. Violators will be slapped with a fine ranging from $25 to $75. On your election watch, the race for Northport City Council in less than one hour. A forum for the candidates vying to become the next leaders of Northport will begin. Now, officials tell us all candidates are expected to be at tonight's forum. Here's a look at the candidates for City Council District 1, Judy Hayes and Jeff Thompson, City Council District 2, Tyrone Alexander, incumbent Jay Logan, and Emmanuel Jenkins. District 3, Chet 
Chuck Jerdo and Rodney Sullivan. District 4 is incumbent Steve Acker and Woodrow Washington. District 5, incumbent Bart Harper and Jeff Hogg. The election is set for Tuesday, August 28th. We'll have complete coverage of tonight's forum on WVUA News at 10. And speaking of elections, we're less than 100 days until the presidential election. Most polls show President Obama slightly ahead. But political expert Dr. Bill Stewart says with the margin of error, it's virtually a dead heat between Obama and presumptive Republican candidate Mitt Romney. Stewart says Alabama has traditionally been a red state. It's gone Republican every election since 1980. And the campaign will come down to less than 10 states like Florida. Stewart says it's those undecided voters that will make the difference. And the presidential debates could play a big role in what happens in the voting booth. That's once again why we feel like that the first presidential debate, I think that's scheduled for October the 3rd, that that will be so important because these debates and the perceptions that people get from the debates can swing undecided voters who were wavering as between the candidates toward one side or another. The Republican National Convention is set for the week of August 27th in Tampa, Florida at the Tampa Bay Times Forum. The Democratic National Convention is set for September 3rd through 6th in Charlotte, North Carolina at Time Warner Cable Arena. The election is set for Tuesday, November 6th. Hyundai owners, listen up. Your vehicle may be under a recall. Hyundai has issued two recalls. One is for Santa Fe SUVs from 2007 through 2009. Officials say it's a problem with the front passenger airbag. Another recall is for certain Sonata cars, 2012 and 2013 models. It involves side curtain airbags. For more information, you can call Hyundai. Here's their number, 1-800-633-5151. Now to Colorado, where the suspect in the movie shooting massacre has been formally charged. 24-year-old James Holmes was charged with 24 counts of murder, 116 counts of attempted murder, double the number of those killed and injured. 12 people were killed, 58 people were wounded or injured. Holmes is also charged with one count of possession of explosives. Holmes was arrested outside a movie theater in Aurora during a midnight showing of the new Batman movie. Legal analysts expect this case to be dominated by arguments over the suspect's sanity. In Mississippi, a unity rally is being held tonight after an African-American couple was not allowed to get married at their church. Reporter Andrew Spencer has more on what happened. Why didn't those people stand up in the beginning? If it was such a minority of people, why didn't the majority stand up and say, in God's house, we don't do this? Charles Wilson and his wife, Tiandria, are angry because of what happened two days before their wedding. Some of the members of the congregation got upset and decided that no black couple would ever be married at their church. First Baptist Church in Crystal Springs, Mississippi, has never had an African-American wedding in its 129-year history. This was, had, not, had never been done here before. So it was setting a new precedence, and there were those who reacted to that. The church's pastor, Stan Weatherford, told Jackson, Mississippi TV station WLBT it was a small yet vocal group, and he did what he thought was best by asking the Wilsons to take their wedding elsewhere. But I didn't want to, to have a controversy within the church, and I certainly didn't want a controversy to affect the wedding. Weatherford married the couple at a nearby church. I had dreams of having my wedding the way I wanted it, and I also dreamed of having it at the church. Mm. And unfortunately, it didn't happen. Some congregants said they hope the Wilsons and the church can move on. I would say I'm sorry this happened. And uh, would you forgive the people who caused it? Because we're going to try to. As for the Wilsons, T. Andrea has been a member of First Baptist for more than a year. Charles said he was looking for...